I'm here at Mighty Buildings in Los Angeles, California to check out their modular ADU that's partially 3D printed. This unit here is 350 square feet, qualifying it as a tiny home. And as you walk inside, you can see it's kind of a studio style with the bed and then a full kitchen feature right here. It's a small space, but there's a lot of seating and it feels homey. You can see they've decorated it nicely with some faux pomegranates and plants. And it has all kinds of technology to maximize the use of the small space. You can check out the very functional closets they have here with some fold out seating. And they also integrated some really high tech touch screen mirrors with a screen that currently demonstrates the models that they have available. So you can scroll through and even get a look at what some of their units look like. Now, you're probably wondering at this point, what part of this house is 3D printed? And as we walk into the bathroom, you can see that they left exposed in here this segment, which if I look really closely at, you can see the layering structure from their print. They use a unique material that's cured with a UV light and I go into that more in another video. But for this project, this wall here is the only wall that's 3D printed and the rest of the building is built in their factory using prefab methods. The bathroom that they use is actually a complete prefab unit that gets shipped in, I believe they said from Australia. And so they don't have to do any of the plumbing for that it, it themselves. They just kind of get it ready to go which is really cool for scalability. Hi, my name is Zane. I'm here with Mighty Buildings. I'm one of our project managers, and today we're in our studio unit here in LA for our little pop-up. Uh, Mighty Buildings is a VC-backed uh, module prefab building company. And the cool thing about us that truly makes us unique is that we use lots of 3D printing, robotics and automation during our construction process, really differentiating ourselves from everyone else in the uh, industry. The big, you part of what we're doing is our 3D printed material, which we're able to print out very quickly and end up having an instant cure system to allow us to make structural walls and then finish it smooth for a nice and look good finished look. What's your day-to-day -day role at Mighty Buildings look like? So as a project manager, a lot of what I'm doing is working with our uh, government agencies that are for the building approvals for each specific site. On top of that, I am working with our design development team to make sure that our newer products are going to end up being co-compliant as well as something that the consumer is truly going to want. UL compliance is something that Mighty Buildings talks a lot about. So how, has that, how does that impact your eligibility for government permits and such? It opens up everything. The UL per, uh, approvals are the, what makes our material real for use. So for instance, in the unit we're sitting in right now, the material is actually only a structural feature within a wall. But in our newer models, due to new UL certifications we've been get, obtaining throughout this period, we're actually going to end up having it as an exterior wall and end up becoming a more prominent feature throughout the buildings. Our technology can already do these things. We're able to print out full structures. It's the certifications that allow us to be able to do it in your backyard. Can you tell me anything about the event coming up in nine days? So upcoming soon, at the end of this month, we're going to be doing our demo week. We're going to have a large amount of webinars up with different speakers from our company as well as other companies talking about the future of construction industry, how Mighty Buildings is going to be a part of that, as well as how we got to where we are and where we're going to end up going in the future. Will a product demonstration be part of the demo week design process for will be and we will be showing uh, you know our products as well as our new panelized products uh, in that those presentations as well how did you guys decide on the interior design for the house it 
As you can probably tell, it's not quite a traditional design you would see here in the US. We took a lot of different designers from architecture firms, interior architects, and all around the industry, worked together, created a lot of uh, market feedback to find something that we thought would be the most effective use of space, as well as something that would be beautiful and appreciated by everyone around. Another thing that we spent a lot of time thinking of through our design process was how can we make a long lasting building. So areas that we weren't able to 3D print, we used light gauge steel opposed to wood studs and we used a lot of long lasting low maintenance materials such as LVP flooring and uh, fiber cement siding. Of the products currently listed on your website, which house would you live in if it was up to you? Well, of course, the biggest one is what I would get. You know, our Quattro two bedroom, two bath is the largest ADU we do. And for me, the 3D printing is a big thing. And that's the building that has the most 3D printing in it. We're able to do all of our structural walls, meaning all of your exterior walls are 3D printed in that building. So does that reduce the need for steel? Yes. And it also reduces the need for uh, skilled laborers on your site, making your entire construction process much faster. With those panels, we're, we're going to be able to eliminate about 80% of labor from on-site construction, which I know everyone's like, get rid of labor is a bad thing. But in this industry, there are no people to be doing those jobs. We have a severe lack of skilled laborers. So eliminating the need for that eliminates the need to having to train new people that don't want to be trained. <laughs> Here in California, has the local municipality been receptive to your concepts? Yes, they have. And actually, uh, through our UL certifications, uh, the California Building Code put in 3D printing and used our certifications as the standards for 3D printing construction. So they've really embraced what we're doing and trying to make it as something that will end up being used throughout the nation, not just here. How is Mighty Buildings planning on taking advantage of the unique customization and one-off production capabilities of 3D printing. So where we're eventually moving out towards is to become a printing as a service. So we'll be able to work with national builders as well as architects throughout the whole country and overseas as well. And they'd be able to use a Revit plugin which we're developing, which will take their designs, either create it into our panels or into a readable code for our 3D printer. So we're able to create their unique shapes or panelize their designs into our building panels, allowing them to kind of work with what they're trying to do instead of trying to conform to our designs. So can you talk a little bit more about the Revit plugin and explain how that works for people who don't understand Revit so much? So Revit, for people who don't understand Revit, is one of the design software that is becoming more commonly used by architects and well, engineers throughout the board in the uh, construction industry. It's an evolution from AutoCAD from Autodesk. Uh, essentially what our plugin is, is literally you just click a button and it will take your design, let you know, hey, this piece of your design is not gonna quite work structurally with 3D printing, or you're gonna have to you know, modify this to fit within our panel uh, restrictions. And then it will be able to take that design and actually create it into a code that our 3D printer will be able to read and start printing the pieces that you would need to be able to do any custom work that you would want to do in the future. This mighty house is currently available for sale for $115,000 and a variable shipping cost depending on where you're located. Anybody who is looking for a building that'll be ready quickly and will be easy with not too much hassle or frustration might be a good candidate for a tiny home like this. A big selling point of Mighty Buildings is the ability to put one of these units in their backyard, especially in California where legislation has just passed to make it easier for people to put an ADU unit in their backyards. Looking forward, Mighty Buildings has a lot of cool projects coming up, including in nine days a demo event that I'm hoping to attend. And down the line, as they start releasing more of their projects, You'll certainly see more from them, hopefully buildings that are going to be ultimately entirely printed. This is going to really change the game for them and it'll cement them as a leader in the construction space. Here we can see, oh it's kind of heavy, 
we see an example of their 3D printed filament. It's wavy, as you can tell, the 3D printed aspect allows it to be kind of freeform. And it's about four centimeters wide. So this is printed with just two layers here. And then it's about 30 or 40 layers high. Another cool feature is this pull down rack that makes it easier for short people to access that top shelf. Now, as we walk around the side, we can see here's the wall that they've printed and it's been covered up by an exterior shell but you can see there's the AC unit and all of the workings of the building